What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Rest Hold Podcast, episode 70, the big 7-0. Brought to you, as always, by your boys Tanner Fred and me, Zach Foreman. Tanner, say what's up to the people. What's going on, everybody? Coming off a big crown jewel pay-per-view. Mm-hmm. Controversial finishes. Controversial matches. Mm. Lot, lot being talked about this weekend. Yeah, there's definitely a lot to get into with yeah. the uh, landscape of yeah. WWE right now. And let's waste no time. Yeah, with that, with how much there is to get into. Let's start off with probably the most controversial match, which opened the card. Yeah. Brock Lesnar, Bobby Lashley. What were your initial thoughts? So, I didn't get to watch this live. Yeah. It being 1 o'clock on a Saturday, tough. Tough Very to get tough. into. But I did watch it. Um, seeing the reviews of it, that it was the worst match of all time like come on guys like i know you expect a lot from brock and bobby and it didn't deliver but to call it the worst match of all time it was just fine it was okay yeah i think it was okay i think they could have done a lot more yeah i understand why it ended the way it did Mm -hmm. um i think they have stuff planned for roman and whoever comes out of this feud will probably be most likely will be roman's mania opponent yeah and I know there's some things that are leaning towards Brock Lesnar and Roman right. again. Yeah. Which I think everyone in the world hopes not. I am so bored of it. And to see people like um, Dave Meltzer, for instance, like one of the most reputable, you know, dirt sheet reporters for uh, wrestling ever, yeah. to say they're going Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns again. I, I can't. I, I, I have a hard time believing that Triple H would make that mistake. But. The thing is, as much as we like, oh, Triple H is creative genius. He's saving the company, saving the company. Brock Lesnar sells. I understand that, but I think he understands the fans' reaction to a third in a row. Uh, and I get that, right? Yeah. But, but he will put people in seats. You know what I was about? We're watching anyway. Here's the thing, though. You're going to gain... One, we're watching anyway. Two... That type of match, mm-hmm. do you think that would put more people in the seats than Brock and Bobby rubber match and then maybe like Roman and Cody? I think those two matches separately on the same card would make a lot more people buy that ticket, tune into that pay-per-view I, than the same thing we've seen the last three I'm, years. I'm going to go ahead and respectfully disagree. Okay. Because... We're watching anyway, mm-hmm. like I said. Let's let's get that out there. If you're subscribed to Peacock, if you're a fan of WWE, if you're listening to this podcast or you're listening to any wrestling podcast, yeah. you're watching You're watching WrestleMania, 100%. But my friend who doesn't know a single thing about wrestling, who sees Roman Reigns all over ESPN, all over C4 Energy, all over every promo in the world right now, and recognizes Brock Lesnar as one of the best combat athletes of mm-hmm. all time, he's watching that. I hear what you're saying. But would that same friend not tune in just to see them separately? No. You don't think so? I don't think anyone who is a casual fan, I mean, maybe if you're into like TV drama, you tune mm-hmm. in for Cody and Roman because okay. of like the AEW thing. All right. But if you're a casual fan, I don't think you recognize or remember or give credence to Cody like Rhodes Cody is. Rhodes. Okay. Like I, I don't know. All right. That's fair. That's a good point. But it, with all of that said, yeah. I digress to the point. I cannot imagine them doing this I really three times not. in a row. I really hope they don't. It, it would be bad for the company. It would be horrible. But, like you said, the ending, they did it that way to keep both guys strong. Yeah, Bobby looked really strong. Bobby was manhandling. Bobby Brock. came out looking like a monster. Yeah, and that's the kind of Bobby we need. Like, fed up, like, I'm the guy here. I'm the full-time yeah. employee. I'm working my you know my ass off. But you and Bobby turning heel. I like it. I like it, too. And is it even heel, or is it just like... Um, Bobby's wrecking clearing house like, with the raw after it's after, heel it's, it's now heel. heel it was I understand why people are saying it's heel at Crown Jewel because you know the post match antics but how many times is a you get cheated out of a win or yeah and how many times has Brock done that and no one cares yeah you know so I don't know I don't think it was heel until Monday now it's, now it's a heel yeah we'll get to Monday yeah but let's there's just, a lot to talk about on Monday let's just keep going through this card um, the tag team titles back didn't I, even know it was on the card I don't care. Don't know why. If you're going to switch a title, was that, the wrong one. that's the wrong one. Yeah. That's... Didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Mm-hmm. Interesting stuff backstage before the match, though. Mm-hmm. Alexa Bliss doing the interview. Bray logo, Bray logo pops up on the computer. Yep. 
Well, so I'm going to keep an eye on. There's a lot going on with Bray. So I don't know if they're just giving us a little, you know, crumbs, follow the crumbs. I definitely think it's just something to keep an eye on. The start of the show was Bray, too. Like, they're introducing Crown Jewel, and on the intro, it's cut to the new logo. So That's true. You know, maybe just crumbs everywhere. A little bit of crumbs. <sighs> Next match. Cage match. Right? This was dis- oh, oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. But this is a little disappointing for me. Yeah. I thought it was good, not great. I thought... <laughs> I think despite Drew winning, I I picked Cross to win. Despite Drew winning, I think the ending was wrong. Mm -hmm. Like the winner could have been Drew. I think the ending is wrong. It it doesn't give you closure on this feud. In fact, it gives you quite the opposite. You have uh, Scarlett still doing the uh, the, the Mm -hmm. mace in the eyes. When are you getting over that? I don't even know if that's my problem. mm -hmm. Like if you want to do it, whatever, do it. But if you're Drew, and this is this is the same issue I have with the l- later on match, which I think was a really good match, but like, are you that stupid? Yeah. Like she's on the side of the cage. Who cares? Yeah. Who cares? You're you're about to walk out the door. Obviously, she's not gonna let you walk out. Yeah. Like who? Like it's an insult to us, and it's an insult to like, oh, do you think Drew McIntyre is this dumb? And I get it. She's like this almost almost supernatural being like the flame thing yeah. I, they've kind of moved away from that with mm-hmm. the, the pepper spray but she's 110 pounds soaking just wet just toss her like <laughs> you're, you're freaking 6'6 six, six, yeah. 270 yeah. like just get her Go out of the way yeah. Yeah. I don't know it, it is pretty annoying yeah. and for the cage match the purpose of the cage match was to limit her involvement we knew there was going to be some you got to move away from this. You're, yeah. I, I know what you're trying to do. Cross and Scarlet go hand in hand. Cross can't get himself over this way. No. So last time he couldn't get himself over because he's wearing a freaking bondage mask. Yeah. This time he can't get himself over because he can't win alone. Yeah. He can't even fight alone. Mm. It's, it's a problem. Yeah, booking him wrong problem. twice is it's a just, problem. Yeah, just because it's, it's different. It's a big problem. Yeah. I don't know. Well, he needs something big coming out of this. And it looked like he was... Going into something big, but now, now I don't know. I think he's maybe taking a back seat for a bit. I think so. Um, let's get the women stuff out of the way, and then. Okay. Yeah. Um, good match. Maybe this one. I think they got the winner wrong. I think they definitely got the winner wrong, and this is one of those things again where I talk. This isn't the match I was referring mm-hmm. to, but kind of things where like this is an obvious decision to do, yeah. and it's insulting that you didn't. You know the part where. Bailey puts Bianca in the in the suitcase. Why don't you close them? Sit on it. Sit on it. Sit we'll on it. Flip the locks. Flip down. Flip the locks and sit down. You win. It, I, it was like a layup, it, but it was so obvious that she wasn't yeah. losing there. Like, yeah. But, also, really feel bad for Bailey missing the table in the first one because that looked like it hurt. Yeah. That looked like it hurt a lot. Oh yeah. <laughs> on oh, the yeah. golf cart spot, but um, the finish was okay. It, I think it was unique. It. Again, with the whole nobody looks bad here. She didn't look weak. She was. It wasn't trapped. like oh she got knocked down. It was she got yeah. outsmarted. She could have kept fighting. She got yeah. outsmarted. Um, I mean credit to Bianca. I know the storyline for her title reign hasn't been great, but like I say almost every week, the match is delivered. She's good. I have a scorcher. Okay, let's hear it. I don't think she's that good. Here's why. Let's hear it. Yeah. Okay. If you've seen one, you've seen them all. I was about to say the opposite. Is that really? they don't let her do enough. I think they're trying, and I don't know if they're trying or she's trying, they're booking her to be a powerhouse, right? And That's not even what I mean. But, like, her matches tell the story in the same way it's every the, single time. Yeah, the same script. The same script yep. every time. Yeah. So, like, if you've seen one Bianca match, you've seen every single one. Right, and I won't argue on that. That's true. I don't think it's but a problem with her. I think this match in particular exposes kind of how they book her, how they book Rhea. Every woman who is strong, Raquel, mm-hmm. they try to make very strong. Yeah. She doesn't need to throw the stairs one inch. No. She, she doesn't. couldn't hold them. No. And well, that was her fault. It, I, it is. Because she was holding it wrong. She it, flipped. I don't know understand why she flipped it around like no, that. No, it's 100% her yeah, fault. You grab it 100% her, yeah. her fault. But that's because they book you for spots like this. Yeah. If she wasn't told to pick up the stairs and throw probably them like Cena, probably wouldn't do it. Yeah, that's a good point. But that is what makes your champ look bad. She mm-hmm. threw them literally one inch. Yeah. She barely moved it off her head. Yeah. And like, that's a bad spot. Yeah, it, it's a bad spot because it got messed up. Yeah. Yeah. Another bad spot, which 
maybe I'm being overly critical. Mm-hmm. The golf cart was moving one mile an hour. The golf cart spot was so dumb. So bad. So dumb. She could have got out of the way of the golf cart and sprinted down the road. I also think it would have been a lot cooler if get yeah, dangerous. So yeah. if she had slid off through the table. Mm-hmm. That would have been cool. Yeah. I would have been here for that. Yeah. But the fact that she drove her down, stopped, and then threw her off, and then she missed. Yeah. I'm like, all right. Yeah. I'm like, this wasn't a great spot. But, but with all the criticisms, I still think it was a good match. I think it was good. Yeah. I don't I think, think it was, it was great. Match. I think it was good. It was solid. Maybe like a B, B minus. And this obviously now is moving forward to a War Games match. God, Jesus. Um, this has been going on since August. I was about to say, I'm done with this. Yeah, I'm over it. This is officially getting into, like, raw. Oh. Like, yeah, go ahead. Oh, okay, never mind, but we'll talk about it. Yeah, okay, so this is getting into war games now. Yeah. Which, if Bianca's team loses mm-hmm. at war games, they are doing this again yeah. at day one. Mm-hmm. They're doing it again. Is it day one? Yeah, it has to be. Oh, it is day one. Yeah, yeah. okay. And if I'm being honest with myself, with you, with the listeners, with other fans of wrestling... I don't want to see this match again. I think they lose. And I'll tell you why. Okay. So I don't think Dana Brooke is the fourth. Okay. This, again, this is no evidence for this. Right. Hold on. little inside baseball. Uh, before the podcast started, we were talking about how Nikki Cross won the 24-7 title. Yes. So she's the fourth member on damage control for War Games. For Which, me. why? No. Don't know. Okay. Don't know. But for those who are unaware she's the fourth member Mm -hmm. on social media dana brooke on every post for wwe is this is ridiculous all the hard work we put in for the 24 7 blah 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 so i'm just deducing from that that dana brooke will be a member of yeah uh, and that's probably the direction they will go Mm -hmm. i think becky would be a lot more exciting tough sell for me why tough sell for me to think that becky comes back and it's just cool with the last time we saw them they were cool and Becky was turning face before she got hurt. Still a tough sell for me. Why do I care that you guys I are think, I Well, here's the thing. I help you, then I get a match. Okay. I think that you could sell that. You could sell me that for sure. And we're going right back to stuff we've seen all year. But just, I don't think... Would you rather Would you rather Bianca's team lose and they run back Bailey and Bianca for the third time in four pay-per-views? I think that you can do that same storyline you said with Charlotte. And I'm all the way here for they, it. They need Charlotte on SmackDown. You're probably right. Oh, well, you could switch them. Yeah. You could switch them. You Maybe. could put Becky on SmackDown. Possibly. But they won't. Cause but they Seth. won't because Seth. But you need Charlotte on SmackDown. Right. But the story that you said would work better for me personally. I agree. With Charlotte. I agree. I think it's a tougher sell because Charlotte is a heel. Yeah. But that's she's not really a heel either. She is. Like, I understand Charlotte is a heel, right? Yeah. But not in the sense of damage control. They're, they're technically no. a group that wreaks havoc, right? That, yeah. That's what they're Charles there Charles more for. just, I'm the best. Yeah, I'm here for myself. I'm just better than yeah. all of you. Yeah, exactly. Okay, that's fair. That's a good point. That's what you're saying. But it'll probably be Becky. I think, no, it'll probably, it will probably be Dana Brooke. But there's five. It's a five on five. It is five. Yeah. So damage control needs one more. Yeah. So there's, it's a five on five. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. No. Okay. That also opens a lot of things for the men's, but we'll talk about that after our main event match. The Next, Usos. Oh, is that Usos. not where you were going? That's not, but let's go ahead. That was a good match. I thought it was really good. Um, not like at all surprised at how good Butch is. Nah, Pete Dunne. Nah, he's so good. So, so good. good. Um, happy that Ridge Holland didn't look so out of place. He's good. He's, he's good. You just got to let him wrestle his match. Yeah. You know? He didn't look outclassed. No, he, not at he all. looked like he could hang yeah. with the Usos. This um, Friday is going to be a banger. Mm-hmm. Banger. Yeah. Usos New Day. Hope. I don't want to say hopefully for the final time, but probably for the final time in a while. Yeah. Um, I do think that this was one of the Usos' worst matches in recent memory. I agree. They I were agree. sloppy. They were a little sloppy. The double splash on, on Bush. It was bad. It didn't look good, bad. right? They yeah. both landed on their feet and then just Yeah, it didn't great. It wasn't now. great. I saw that too. But you can't, you know, Still better can't than put on it. bangers all the time. No, Some can't. of them are just going to be good matches. Yeah. And this was just a good match. Yeah. Not much other else to say about it. No, that's all I... Yeah, that's really it. Yeah. Um, other... Oh, six-man tag. Yes. This Let's was talk. a good match. This was so shockingly good. good. So good. I, so you know what? That's not fair. It's not shocking good. Because... It was shocking that Dominic was good. It's shock... Yeah, because that's not fair. Because four of the five guys in that match are <laughs> world-class talent. Yeah. World-class. And then... Priest is good. And then Dominic, and then Dominic is, new. is new. Yeah. But the other four guys are world-class wrestlers. Yeah. 
This was really good. But I have such a big problem with how this ended. Okay, let me just, real quick before we get to the ending. That stretch where AJ Styles and Finn went for maybe like three or five oh, minutes sick. on their own, where like sick. the hot tag on both sides, yeah. AJ beat up the whole Judgment Day. Yeah. I could watch AJ and Finn wrestle forever. We like, need that to be a one-on-one at some point. The literal fight forever chant was made for them. Yeah. They are fantastic. And the fact that they're both old in terms of wrestling is crazy to me. And then teasing those two and Seth, mm-hmm. very good for something down the line. Mm-hmm. Because that will be... I know the first triple threat with Finn, we can get with Finn, Seth, and Miz was good for the Intercontinental. Finn, Seth, this and will, would as, be cool. Love the Miz. But those three will go will be insane. Can insane. you imagine... It might be the best match of all time. Can you imagine if we got to... And I don't know if we can. But even if it's day one, you get to a triple threat for the United States title. You get but there. if you get to Mania with it... I don't know if you can get the Mania. That's, that's what I'm thought. saying. I don't but know if you, you can get, get to day one with it. You can get the Rumble with it. Yeah. But they're all going to be in the Rumble. Yeah, but since since yeah, when does that stop them? Never, yeah, when never. does that stop them? You're right. Never, never. <laughs> Actually, I'm interested to see the Rumble this year. Because yeah. I think Triple H is going to bring up a lot of people. I agree. I think that they're going to start getting talent up. Even if it's just for the Rumble. But there's... We don't need to get into that now because yeah, that's, that's, that's looking way, too that's far ahead. There's, there's two or three winners. And yes, I agree. Like, that's it. Yeah. Um, so this match was very good. The ending. Ending um, was horrible. I, I would say legitimately horrible. And it's not because of the whole point of the feud building up. I know it was like the club versus the club thing. Mm-hmm. Was you knew where he was a problem. Yep. And you didn't do anything about it. Not only did you not do anything about it, you knew it was coming so much so that you did something about it the next day. The next day, which we'll talk about now. What a mistake. For those who don't know, Mia Yim is now not a part of the club, the OC, but, but with the club, aligned with the club to for fight this feud. Rhea. Now, there's a lot of people out there like Mia Yim. I don't think Mia Yim is that bad. I think she's okay. I think she's okay. And I think in a bubble, this would work. The problem is you have Raquel doing absolutely nothing. That's my issue. You And she fits this so much better for so many different reasons. One, I think she's definitely a better she's talent. far better. Far better. Far she better. has a history with Rhea. Mm-hmm. Like, this all would... Like, the cards are there. Just play them. This is part of the uh, Triple H guys get yes. it. And yeah. I... It's exposed now twice on one night because of what they did to Theory, which we'll get into. Yeah, that's going to be but a this is, 10 minute trip, segment we have. If Triple H <laughs> likes you, you're getting ahead, yeah. which is so obvious now. Yeah. Because this, first of all, is one of the more underwhelming returns. Oh, yeah. Very, Even Bleacher Report was like, we expected a bigger pop and she'd have gotten nothing. And the crowd was terrible in Raw, at Raw. Ter- terrible crowd. So I'll just, I won't go in too much into the pop of things for yeah. it. But. If people online, like, I know you have your diehard, like, head batty in charge. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. She, she wasn't good when she was here the she first time. She wasn't that good, no. She didn't work the first time. Not going to work the second time. No. You could put her with the best people on earth. You put her with AJ Styles. And the problem with this work. is, like, when you have when you have a nickname like head batty in charge, mm-hmm. it's tough to sell me that when you have the EST, when you have the Queen, Mm-hmm. When you have big match backs, like mm-hmm. NXT, you could fly by because you're kind of on the same par as everyone else. Yeah. And you could have your little jump up for a little bit and then that works. But when you have a nickname like that, it's hard to sell me that you're the, you know, the head of anything when yeah. these people and, will wrestle circles around you. And I'm not even getting into the nickname because yeah, but I'm saying, that like, is entirely but, no, right. because that matters though, because that's how you get, you have to get your character over right. and you need to sell me that you're these things. And she's noticeably worse than Rhea. Oh, yeah. Like, noticeably oh, yeah. worse. So, Rhea's like a top five woman. So this is going to expose itself quickly. Yeah. And I get, like, using the kendo stick or whatever and, like, the physicality aspect of it. That'll work. That'll hide it. But eventually, you're just going to have to wrestle. Yeah. And, and you Rhea's, can't hide that. Rhea's damn good. Yeah. Like, our complaints with Rhea when she wrestles is that she screams too much. She screams we too much? We don't have a single problem with how she it's wrestles. It's literally, she screams too much, and sometimes she tries to be stronger than she is. Right. That's it. Right. That's, that's, that's pretty good critiques as far yeah. as we go sometimes. Not a single issue with her no. skills or Not ability to Not wrestle. Not even talking about her promo. No. She just screams Her promo's too much. been getting better, yeah. actually. Yeah. So, this is going to, I don't know, hopefully 
work itself out quickly. I, yeah, I think this one was a miss. Yeah. It's unfortunate, but... And people, are, people aren't going to like that. People really like Mia Yim. Yeah. But if we're being honest, and that's what I just... I'm not, I don't not like her. She's mm-hmm. fine. She was good on NXT. And I have a, a bigger problem with this, mm-hmm. and it's more just a little, little bit big picture. Yeah. You're having a lot of four-man, five-man, three-man, whatever, or three-person, four-person mm-hmm. teams. Yeah. Not even stables. Teams right. on a single card coming up. Yeah. I don't, like, don't get me wrong. War Games is sick. Mm-hmm. War Games is going to be awesome. But how many four-person matches am I going to watch on this card? Four? At least three if they do this. I mean, And then who knows what else they're going to do. There's a chance they bring this one in, right? There's a yeah, chance. I'm assuming this will be on Survivor Series in some capacity. Because then you got the Bloodline. Yeah. What's the Bloodline doing? The, what, the Bloodline's going to be in War Games. The women have War Games. Like, What's how Imperium many of these doing? matches... I don't know what they're doing. I don't know if they're going to do anything as Imperium. Yeah. I think it'll be more... Uh, Just Gunther. Yeah. But, like, you, you, it's, it's a lot. Because as good as those matches are and can be, When you see so long, many in a row. And they're long. And if we're being honest with the critiques again, this is why we don't like the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. Exactly. Because I don't need to see three Hell in a Cell exactly. on one night. And I'm it glad takes, they're getting rid of that. Yeah. And that, exactly. Great, great move. One women's, one men's, open the show, close the show. Yeah. I will accept that because I know you have to do one women's, one men's now. It's just how it goes. Yeah. And that's fine. I don't need a third. I don't need. I don't, that's I the thing. I definitely don't, need a third. don't need a fourth. Yeah. The thing is, I don't even need a third like tag team match. No. Just give me singles, singles matches. Yeah. Because that's the thing. Like, I understand. Like, a lot of people have a problem with the term cool down matches or but come down matches. They're just real. They are. They are real. real. It's a thing that whether it's a little bit disrespectful sometimes, which it is. Mm-hmm. That's just how it is. That's just how the business is. Is matches are going to be better than others before, during, after. Yep. So you need something in between that the fans can kind of collect themselves again. And that doesn't mean the match is bad or the people are bad. It's just a different pace. Mm -hmm. That's more what it means than, oh, these people stink. Or the implications aren't as big. Aren't as big. It's more of like a one like, I don't know. Omos and Braun is a perfect example. Yeah, fine match. Not a fine match, two monsters, but the pace is different. You slow down, you can relax. The match is meant for a big spot. It's a fun, cool, two big guys going at it. Not... Oh, this is a huge monumental match kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So I don't know, just pacing. Yeah, it's important. And I guess that brings us to uh, the main event. The main event. Logan Paul. Uh, maybe this is going to be an aggressive take. I doubt it. Okay. This is the best celebrity they've ever had. Oh, by far. And I think w- the problem is we have to start getting away from the term celebrity. Right. He is contract. He is contract. We said it. But last I know time. what you're saying. One hundred percent. By far. It's not. Even- Pat was great. Pat was awesome. He Logan Paul is way better than Pat. Way better. He hit a buckshot lariat. I so he hit Hangman Page's yeah, finisher as good in as his, Hangman Page. As, maybe even better. Yeah. In his third match ever, the gut wrench suplex, the Roman oh my was God. sick. And shout out Paul Heyman for selling, selling for yeah everything. Paul Logan Paul did it was like yeah. the greatest thing he's ever seen. Yeah. Um, also, I, yeah, one yeah. I think the small things about Roman character are what makes this run so good. Yeah. It's not just the whole tribal chief. It's, it's, it's got him in the, the choke or whatever. Just talking to the camera. No more YouTubers. We're not, no more, yeah. ki- we're not getting KSI. We're not getting missed. And name dropping yeah. these people. Yeah, yeah. So, like, that's what, like, I don't know if he knew them before this. But do the homework. He did the homework. Yeah. So, like. And I'm sure he does. He's got kids. Yeah, I'm sure he probably yeah. has at least heard the names. Yeah. But even if he didn't, he took the time to do the homework. And that's what makes his character so good. It's those small things. It's what we talk about, like, the, the fourth wall, right? Yeah. Like, Roman and Logan Paul kind of brings that in for you because oh, yeah. he's Logan Paul. Yeah. Like, everything Logan Paul does outside of the world, like, in the real world yeah. and then WWE. But, like, <laughs> Roman doing that is like, oh, Roman lives in our world. Yeah. Like, yeah. This, this is real. Yeah, this, this is, is Roman yeah. Reigns. Yeah. Yeah. And it, you know what? It's even, it's crazy because a lot of people would be like, oh, you know, that cuts the suspension of disbelief. I disagree. I think, I think it does, does the opposite. Yeah. hundred percent. It's more like, this is worth, I'm fighting this guy. Yeah. Roman and Logan Paul are in a fight, are in a fight right now. This isn't a match. Yeah. This isn't, this isn't a performance. Yeah. They're fighting. Look at him. He's talking about his real life yeah. now. He, he's saying, you no more YouTube. Yeah. yeah. So, I at first also had a really big problem with all the interference. At first. Okay. Yeah. You know, they brought in, you know, other people from the Impulsive Podcast. Mm-hmm. First of all, the Usos 
just beat the piss out of them. That was very funny. That was so because they didn't even care. They were just tossing. That was very funny. And also shout out to those two guys. They sold pretty well. They did all right. Yeah, they took pretty a decent they took, bump. They two took super kicks. Yeah, no, this. and they took some good bumps. Jake needs to learn how to throw a fake punch. Okay, but yeah. understandable. He's a boxer, right? So kind of hard to. He definitely didn't want to hit him. That's I think he was just really making sure he didn't hit him. Yeah, and the cameraman did a good enough job. He did all right. Couldn't like yeah. really tell. I think my biggest issue with this is all the walkouts during mm-hmm. it. I did have a problem with that. Weird that Solo would just give up that easily when the security came out. Mm-hmm. But once I sat back and thought about this, and was like, okay, let me really look at this. I have no problems with it because it didn't really affect the outcome of the match. It was all extracurricular. It kind of just happened over here while this was also going on. Yep. So it's not like that all the Usos came in and beat up Logan or Jake Paul came and snuffed Roman. Just kind of going on over here yep. while Roman and Logan was happening. Yep. So, f- because of that, I'm I cooled it. I'm, I enjoy it. So again, I didn't watch it live. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I knew the result of this match, and despite knowing the result, when when he hit Logan the hit the frog splash in the ring, I really thought he had it. I legitimately was like, "What happened? Yeah. What? How did he not lose?" Yeah. Like I was shook. They and did. A, he did an awesome job. He's yeah. very good. Yeah. I can't say enough good stuff about him. Yeah. And this may be an overreaction. Again, second hot take. He's already better than like 85% of the He's better than a lot of the roster. He's better than a lot of them. He's and got the engine to go. Mm. He doesn't get gas. He had no. a 30-minute main event with the best wrestler on the planet. And did not look gas. No, and he looked like he belonged there, yeah. which is shocking. Yeah. And I know there were like literal rest holds. Mm. There are, but everyone gets those. Yeah. And not everyone puts on a match like that. Yeah, I agree. I think it's. I think it's. I think what you said is actually the biggest takeaway from this mm-hmm. is that he looked like he belonged there. Yeah. Put any other celebrity they've ever had, and put in the Roman, and they're getting smoked. I mean, Wade Barrett on commentary. This is the best three match wrestler I've ever, ever seen, seen in my life. Ever. And yeah. That's I true. couldn't agree more. No, it's true. I that could really not true. agree more. Yeah. Like Braun Breaker was awesome on his third match. He couldn't wrestle Roman. And here's the thing too that people forget. That was Braun Breaker's third match that we've seen. Yeah, he was training. He's doing this and full time. You know what? Logan Paul is training. I'm sure he's having mock matches. Mm-hmm. But I'm telling you this right now. Braun Breaker's third televised match was put him in the match. same spot. Not that good. He's not as good. He's not as good. Third televised match in front of 70,000 yeah. people in a different country? Yeah. yeah. But the one thing, too, is like, I, I understand, too. Because he has the athleticism to, to do this job, 100%. But I think coming from YouTube and being the personality that he is, the bright, the lights are never too bright. Right. He's been there before. And I understand he hasn't been in that type of situation. Not necessarily but live. he did right. box KSI. They're for the first big YouTube boxing match mm-hmm. they ever had. He boxed KSI in the UK. Yeah. So, like, it's not like he's been in front of, like, hostile... You know, he's, he's been there before. He understands. Yeah. So... Which, again, people love Roman, no matter what. Mm-hmm. Like... When he wins, people pop. Doesn't matter. Yeah. The crowd was getting into like oh, the yeah. possibility of that he could do of it. Logan really that he could really do it. it. It's crazy. I the guy belongs here. I'm happy he's here. I right. hopefully now they get him into like a real feud. I need him and Seth. I I'm, need him and Seth. I'm here for it. I need that. I'm here for it because I think that would be insanely good I, actually. And maybe this is now I'm being really over the top, but like throw the belt on him, make him United States champion. I don't think so yet. I think if whatever was going on with the U.S. title wasn't going on, yeah, then, 100% I'm with you. Because then also, up. selfishly, I get Seth Roman for the. <laughs> yeah, I think also it's tough because while Logan is contracted, he's not full-time. Right. So it is hard to throw. And but you, you what can't do better, a part-time. But here's the thing. Mm-hmm. What, a, what a good belt to throw on him. Think about the exposure. Because he'll carry that thing around everywhere he goes. Oh, yeah. He'll be in the club with the belt on. Yeah. He'll do whatever. He'll, all the time. He'll be every walking po- out Jake Paul. Every single fight. podcast he has, he'll have the belt. Yeah. So, like, he'll get you with the exposure for it. Yeah. So, it's not a bad idea. So, I'm going to think about it. All right. Last, uh, last note on the show entirely. Give it a ranking. Seven. I think the highs were high. The lows weren't that low, but there was a lot of mediocre average, stuff. Average, not average. Yeah, I'm with you. I think uh, I give that last match probably like an eight and a half, nine even. That was real good. The six man tag was real good. But everything, everything else, else was good. Six. Good. Everything to, else was like a six. Good to bad. Yeah, five, six. So, the women's tag, I 
So it was a fine match. It was all right, you know. But like, just didn't. I mean, Brock Bobby. Asuka right. is criminally underused. Of course, always. But, yeah. But all right. Now. Monday Night Raw. We're not going to cover the whole show. We're not talking we're gonna, the whole show. We're going to talk for eight minutes about something major that happened. We're talking one particular event. Yes. Seth Rollins open challenge. Yep. Okay. Bobby, um, jumps Ali. Yeah, you know, thank God. <laughs> like, let's move on from Ali. Like, people, I like Ali. People I love him online. I think he's, he's good. He's, I think he's very talented. He's the worst version of Cedric Alexander. He, he, there's he's, nothing else to say. About the character him. needs improvement. There's but, nothing else to say. He okay. doesn't wrestle as good as Cedric. He talks about okay, the same. Okay. Like, all right. All he's right. the worst version of Cedric okay. Alexander. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's a bad take. That's all the right take. Right. So Bobby then beats up Seth for the match, puts yeah. him to the table. Blah blah blah. <sighs> Theory's music. Remember when I said if you if Triple H likes you, you're getting ahead. If you don't, you're you're finished. Yeah, well he doesn't. Which is weird. I don't know if this has anything to do with theory or it's all to do with Vince. Right? I don't think it has anything to do with either. You know what I really think it is? One, we know Triple H likes theory. Because he put him to the moon in the next day. Okay. But he, that was when Triple H, uh, when Vince was getting involved. Not so much in NXT, not early. This is black and gold. Yeah. This is before 2.0. He was wrestling yeah. Adam Cole. Yeah, he was yeah. wrestling legitimate talent. Mm-hmm. So like it wasn't like he was kind of hanging out. He was with the he was with Johnny. Yeah. Like so Triple H saw something in him. What I think this was was they saw a big problem. They saw that the money in the bank was a big problem with what's going on with Roman. Mm-hmm. And they needed a way to get rid of it. And they picked the worst possible way. But you're telling me you couldn't have just as easily had this result trying to cash in on Roman? You know what I, I mean? I hear you. I Be- hear you. Because the big problem I have with this now is the money in the bank was wasted for a full year. Which people, if you cash in and you lose, whatever. Yeah. He cashed in on the United States Championship. Here's why I think it's different. You don't get the same result if you cash in on Roman. Okay. Because let's say he does that. And instead of Bobby, you know, beating him up, it's the Usos. Mm-hmm. You have to give him a match. You have to give him a match with but Roman. You that, have to. And that's why I'm saying the exact same situation. But like I, someone else, a third party, beats up Theory. I hear what you're saying. Yeah. But I don't know if they want to give him a match with Roman. Because one, I think they think I think they actually think very highly of Theory. So you think they don't want to have him go up there, lose right away, and lose right away, all the way back I to the bottom. I think here, of the one, it's probably going to be a triple threat coming up, mm-hmm. so he could stay protected, no matter how. He probably is taking the pin. Yeah. It's him or Seth. Yeah. Bobby's not taking a bit. No. But now you can insert him into a feud and not, you know, interrupt whatever your plans were for Roman. And, again, I already stated they picked the worst possible solution. This was not a good outcome for anyone involved, for the money in the bank, for anything. But I don't think it was as much focused on theory as it was on we have to fix this problem. And I know... The plan, initial plan, was let's get Cody Rhodes money in the bank, yeah. right? I know that that's what everyone wanted. Unfortunately, injury happened. Yeah. Whatever, he got hurt. But yeah, torn pec. That was before. That was the pay per view before. before. Yeah, okay. and then he's the right, 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 like, right. I was right. still gonna wrestle. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. But just because the person you wanted to get it couldn't wrestle, couldn't perform, you made the decision. I know, like there was different people in charge. You gotta find a better way out. Yeah. Freaking let it expire. Book him as a coward. Yeah. Like book him like. What, oh, an, the what time an interesting never... story that would be yeah. too. Because here's the thing: they've talked about it, but they've never actually stated what happens if you don't cash when in. you don't cash in you before the next. You one. have a year to do it, but nobody's ever held it. Yeah. And if you don't know what you're doing with it, do that. Give us the out. Yeah. Because he's. What is and he doing backstage? Here's the thing. He's always like a slimy yeah. coward. They've never actually said that you have that you it's con- that you have one year mm-hmm. it's always kind of just been implied yeah. that you have until the next money in the bank mm-hmm. but no one's ever actually done it and they've never actually said what happens yeah so what an interesting way to have it where you, what if you had two money in the bank winners and yeah again, what if you had two? Sudden, now all of a sudden everyone's racking up money in the bank yeah. what and happens obviously if you that's yeah. not going to happen but there's so many better outlets. And, like, that was something I literally just thought of. Yeah. Because I'm so upset with how the Seth Rollins thing Andrew, happened. Yeah. It, you want to cash in on the, the United States title. You want to bring it back. Like, it's prosperous. It matters. Whatever. Then they should have him win. Win it. Win it. 
And then that's he gets it. to that's tell fine. everyone how important the United States title is, how I want to be like Cena who did yeah. this. Like, okay, now I buy it. Yeah. Now it works. Now it yeah. makes sense. Instead, you have him cash in on it, get his freaking ass kicked. And now he has no money in the bank. He's going to take a second pin trying to get the same belt. It's yeah. a, a joke. Yeah. To me, theory is now a joke. Yeah, it's really bad. It's very, very bad. So, like, I get what you're saying. Like, maybe they think highly of him. They don't want to have him get, you know, tossed around by Roman. Mm-hmm. He's not ready, blah, blah, blah. He'll just get lost in the shuffle of the main title. Yeah. Which is all true. Mm-hmm. He's a joke now. And I have, again, this is just off the top of the head, just thinking about other ways to do this. You had him go down to NXT, mm-hmm. and you had him tease that he was going to cash in during the triple threat and take the belt off whoever had it there. What a good story to tell that, you know, he had that tease, and he didn't do it. Mm-hmm. So now everyone's kind of guards let down. Who's your North American champion right now? Mm-hmm. It's Wesley. Mm-hmm. Wesley's whole story is, you know, dealt a bad hand mm-hmm. outside of my control, and I climbed my way all the way back up, and now I'm at the top of the mountain. Mm-hmm. What a good story for Theory to just rip that away from him. And then, one, they'll give you a sick feud. Both of those guys are very talented. Yep. Money in the Bank. First of all, now you're elevating the North American title a ton that your Money in the Bank winner cares enough that he's going to cash in on this. And when Wesley finally beats him for it again, Wesley's a megastar. Yeah, I, I would like that better than what happened here, too. Um, I don't know if I want to see the Money in the Bank being used for the second title on NXT. I see what you're saying. If he did it to Braun and beat Braun Breaker, yeah. I, cool. I just think it's more, one, the story was there. Yeah. Two, it's kind of like the working title. Yeah, I, I get it. I yeah. do get it. Because anything would have been better than this. Yeah. Winning against Seth would have been fine. Would have been fine. It would have been fine. Yeah. Do I like that he cashed in on a, on a mid-card title? Not necessarily. But when it's Seth Rollins, it's a big win. Yeah. So... Yeah. I, I don't know what they're thinking. Yeah, I, don't, I just don't... Yeah, I because think it's a mistake. This, to me, and maybe this is a, the initial overreaction, like mm-hmm. I'm so upset with this, this kind of like damages the money in the bank moving forward for me. It does. And maybe that is an overreaction because the next person who wins could be Cody, could be Randy Orton, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, well... Yeah, we're back. Know, and yeah, we're back. You know what he's doing. But that's the big problem here, too. And that's the problem that Vince created when you unify the belt. Yeah. Is you are now in a massive corner. They got it. With they, no way out. And again, love Roman, best reign of all time. He's literally approaching the greatest superstar of all time. He he's might like, actually be like eight hundred days. Yeah, he might Something actually crazy. be the greatest superstar of all time. Yeah. Like just based on this title reign yeah. alone. But this is definitely the greatest title reign of all time. Yeah, easily yeah. in my opinion. I, I, it's hard to argue. I think at this point, right? You can't have him have both belts. No. You can't. You just can't. And have we it. gave options for this. Yeah, we talked about it at nausea. Yeah. That. Have him cash in, but it, the contract says it's only for one title. You can't cash in on both. No, because then you can just do what we said about the the United, like the USA executive. Mm-hmm. Is that, you know, we respect Roman, but we can't have our show. We not have a champion. We not have a champion. We yeah. need a champion on our show. Mm-hmm. So have Roman give back the WWE title, which he doesn't care about. Because the whole run yeah. is the universal. The whole thing that matters is the universal. And if you notice, they've stopped saying universal. They said Roman's been the champion or a champion for this many days. Yeah. So they don't care which belt it is. They really don't. Yeah. Have him keep the Universal, let him stay on SmackDown, and do like a tournament on Raw. Yeah. Or, like I said, have the guy be a heel and just hand it to somebody. Yeah. But, I don't know. Yeah. It's it, a big problem. It's it, a really, really big problem. And the theory, you know, to just, you know, wrap this point up, yeah. the theory cash-in embodies how big of a problem it is. Yeah. Because that should have been a cash-in, and a failed cash-in, even still, on the heavyweight title. Yeah. It should have been. Yep. Seth should have been champion, a heavyweight champion, or Bobby should have been a heavyweight champion, should have cashed in and lost. Yep. That's it. You know what's crazy, too? If the same exact thing happened, and it's for the WWE title, no complaints. Not a single complaint in the world. Because now you have a sick triple threat for your WWE championship. And guess what? It makes so much more sense because Bobby was like, Why would I let you get the WWE title? Are you out of your mind? I did all the work. Yeah. Like, hello. Yeah. I guess... The argument could be like, well, if you guys would have liked it for that, like, why don't you like it? Because it's the United States Championship. I, I, that just is the, that is the answer. And, and as much as we talk about the United States Championship, we have a lot of respect for the United States Championship yeah. and the Intercontinental Championship especially. The working man's like, title. I like, do like it. We want those. And those titles mean a lot right now. They yeah. do. But it's not and never will be the WWE Championship. And that's what the problem is. The money in the bank. And... I know they like toyed with the idea like last year of like oh, oh they're gonna tag do the tag. No one's ever actually done it. Right. 
Every and, single champion before this has been World Heavyweight WWE. And so many other problems with this is like, the open challenge was already there. Why didn't you just take the open challenge? Exactly. Like, it, it's a culmination of all these issues. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I hate it. I hate yeah. it. It's a big problem. But I think that wraps it up. It does wrap it up. We'll be here same time, same place next yeah. week. We have a, um, a special episode planned. Mm-hmm. We don't know when we're going to do it yet. Yeah. We'll no- probably give a shout the week before. It's going to still depend on how the product is, how much we have to talk about. If we have a slow week, Yeah. we'll, uh, we'll get into that. So stay tuned. Like yeah. and subscribe down below. Comment. Let us know what you thought of Crown Jewel and especially your opinions on this cash-in. Yeah. Failed cash-in. Failed cash-in. What do you guys think they should have done? Was this the right call? Are we off the ball here? Are we, are we missing it? I don't think we are, but if we are, tell us. Let yeah, us know. Let us know. Um, follow us on the socials, mm-hmm. Instagram and Twitter, at resthold underscore pod. Follow the podcast on Apple Podcast and Spotify. Mm-hmm. That's it. You got anything else? No, man. As always, thanks for hanging out. Um, Appreciate it. And hopefully we'll have some closure on this, yeah, this cash something. in next week. Yeah. See, see where it's going. All right, guys. All right. Peace. Peace.